Okay, problem. Power antenna no longer works. Uh, a lot of times just the uh, antenna mast will break. You can replace the antenna mast, I believe. But uh, in my case, I got nothing. It worked fine, but the, this thing has been sitting for a while. So what you're gonna have to do as you're moving things, when you get out here, it's a pair of needle nose. And the needle nose will go in there. And you can turn that sucker out like that. That's how you get that out of there. So I'm back in here. I'm going to take this panel out. The jack should live in there. Unscrew that. It wedges itself in there. Take that out. Pull this. Just pull a screw up here. And screw down there. As a matter of fact, I guess I did that already. You got two 10 millimeter bolts down here, which are going to come out. When you take that top thing, pull out this way. At the bottom of it is a small tube. It hooks into a little drain fitting, which you'll see shortly. And uh, another drain tube that comes off the bottom of the antenna. It's about that size. And uh, away we go from there. Okay, this is a quick little video just to help my 4th Gen Maxima brothers out. Antenna failure? I used to have 240Zs, the antenna mast would break on them and replace the mast. This one I had the whole thing just quit working on me, so I just pull it up manually and push it down and paint the butt, you know. Not as fancy, it has to come up and down automatic. So I went to junkyard and got one. Out of a 98 or something. And I pulled it out, no big deal. There's this nice drain tube on it, dry. Turns out that's significant. So I went in to pull my old one out. It came, oh God, it came out looking like this. The drain tube's full of water. Look at that bracket. It's a lot of water right there. This whole thing is full of water. So, there's a drain tube that goes down there. Oh, and behold, there's another drain tube, which, you know, I don't know what the heck this one goes to. But it, too, is full of water because this little sucker goes in there. Those two plug into that. And then there's a big drain that goes on the end of that. Which goes to this little fitting, which hangs out down there somewhere, which I haven't found yet, but uh, I'm sure it's in the bottom of this corner somewhere. And it's supposed to let all the... Oh, now that's interesting, huh? I bet I put that in there a long time ago. It's soaking wet now. I don't even want to open that up. So apparently I've had a water problem. I gotta find out where that little sucker goes. A little grommet down the bottom somewhere. Oh, it's nasty down there. Anyway, the main point is if you had a antenna failure, make sure this sucker's open because mine was plugged all the way. Both these lines are full of water. That's not it. So that was down in there, basically plugs onto that. No, it doesn't. Plugs onto that. That goes into that grommet there. Kind of assembled. And that line goes on there. So, we need a little cleanup. I'm going to hook this thing up, see if that's the, uh, I'm sure that's the problem. Hopefully this antenna is good, but, uh, so if your antenna fails, make sure that sucker's uh, open, because if you put your new antenna on there, uh, and you don't take care of that, the water running down the mast, which is apparently where the water goes down the mast, it's supposed to run out the bottom, drain out the bottom, no problem. Uh, apparently if that plugs up, this whole line plugs up, your antenna mechanism fills up with water and you're screwed. So make sure that's open if you change out that antenna or the new one's going to do the exact same thing. This one was really plugged up. I had to blast it and poke it and now i got to clean it up and paint it. And I'll be back to see if this sucker works. Well, so just for jollies, I opened that poor thing up. Jeez. Obviously it's been underwater for a while. History. 
There's explains what happened to that antenna, huh? Anyway, so I plugged it in, uh, but my connector's toast, I think. You'll see. It's also not grounded, so. Oh, hold on. Yeah, just for fun, I opened up that antenna, the old antenna, and uh, this is what it looks like. Not much uh, question why it doesn't work. Full of water, like I said, the drain line was, was uh, gone. The uh, when you change the mass on these, or the uh, yeah, the mass, you take this off and it threads in through here. Even that's gone. It's still in there somewhere. I think it's still in there. Alright, there's the mast. See the cable's busted right there. It would normally go around and grow. As you can see, it's disconnected. Alright. So a little more detail. I haven't had any uh, luck in testing that one. Uh, there's three terminals that in that plug. My plug, of course, is crap, so I got to get another connector. Uh, power all the time, two grounds. I'm not exactly sure the configuration, how that works. It's not working on the bench, or when I try to plug it in because my wire is broken off. So I'm just going to go ahead and. Uh, Get another connector, hook it up, and then hook it in, and then see what happens. And hopefully it'll work. I got 12 volts back there, so it used to work just fine. I'm going to assume that part's working, and then once I get it installed and all the plugs hooked up, that it's going to fire up the way it's supposed to be. Till I start putting them back together, that's about it. Okay, when you get ready to install this sucker, don't forget, there's a big fat tube that goes on your uh, grommet, which goes in the hole inside the uh, fender on the inside mine's just a big hole so put that in there you can put the other hose which is on the bottom of the uh, antenna i know i'm chasing again after or i've already stuck it in there the antenna goes in over the top over there don't forget to make the connection here this is the one i had to put a new end on and don't forget to hook up the antenna which pops right up on there and that's going to go in over there. It's going to come up through that hole. There's two screws, uh, two little bolts that go in there, which I've been having a little trouble with. But it's all all this stuff is going to go over the top of this bracket. Make sure you don't pinch it or whatever. Not sure what the heck that is, but no, uh, no worries. We're going to try to slide that in there now. Okay, so if you get it all up in there. Things over that's the antenna wire. I guess that's the antenna booster is what that is. Two 10 millimeter bolts there. You put that little thing together. Which looks like that. And has a tube nut. Tube nut. Which in the best use of the improper tool ever, a little pair of needle nose fits right in those two little spots. And you can turn that nut in. Piece of cake. Uh, I suggest you hold it up from the inside with one hand. Reach up under there, hold it up. Tighten this one up snug first. Then tighten up your 10 millimeter bolts and you should be good to go. Next thing will be to turn this thing on and see what happens. Now, uh, actually, the next thing is to make sure the uh, the drain tube is hooked to this little fitting thing and then push it through that little hole over there. So my hole's kind of opened up a little bit so it's just going to hang out there but make sure that big tube blow through that make sure it's open. Make sure the little tube is open. Um, at the beginning of this video showed you that's what happened. That tube got blocked in the antenna. The uh, motor part and everything just filled up with water and of course shorted out, corroded away, rusted, whatever. All right. Okay, so there's only one thing left. That's to try this sucker out. I've installed it. Said I couldn't get it to work. 
without being installed, I don't know if it's a ground issue or what, but uh, let's uh, fire it up and see. What happens? Look at that. Wow, that thing's tall. All right. Looks like she's working. Alright, so at least that worked out just dandy. Good to go. $15 junkyard antenna installed. Extra parts. I can close that back up, put the jack in there. We're good to go.